they grew too much marijuana. But I think it's because of these freaking laws. While it sounds like a good problem, plummeting prices, and yeah, and that's and prices are going down because they got too much bud. Like, what the fuck you think? Yo, this is crazy. But at the day, the state has handed out almost 1,500 licenses to grow and process cannabis. And while the state officials expected that half of those licenses holders likely to go out of business, around 1,400 licenses are still active, accordingly to from there. Each grower is allowed to cultivate up to 90,000 square feet of. Da, 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 I think too much of the weed. Da, da, da. Experts post that the increase and hence. The problem is further convoluted by the fact that Washington State had placed a limit on the number of retailers that can be licensed within the state, leaving farmers within a limited number of buyers of their crops. Like I, that's the problem. You feel? Well, I I don't know if I'm describing it right, but the bro, the growing and the selling of the bud is too independent. Mm -hmm. So you have 1,500 licenses to people to grow bud, but retail license. Oh, wait, wait, right here. Cannabis Broad already has increased the number of retail licenses from 300 to 556 in three times. Just look, it's three times as many growers as there are retail stores. And just like I said, that's the problem. In order to sell weed, you need a... So you can't do the both. You can't do both. So that's why they throw, they got too much weed. And they so got to throw this shit away. you can't do both... All right. Like, this hold is on, crazy. hold on. Like, if you can't do both, right? If I'm growing it, yeah. If everybody's growing it, yeah. But we don't got the license to sell it. Where's the sellers getting it from? Black market. It, Every, it's got wait. Everything is either has to go to black market. Or the sellers are going to have to get it from. But wait, the thing is that, like what you said, where the sellers are getting it from, like, I'll, 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 let's just do a quick math problem. And it's just that 1,500 growers, we have 1,500 people to choose from. And it's only 300, wait, say 556 stores that could actually sell. At the top, we're not, every store is not seeing all 1,500 growers. Mm -hmm. Say at the max, 500 growers are getting top rotation. 600 growers. Top rotation. That still leaves, what, 800, 900 growers that's... We're just growing because we got a license. You feel me? So that's tons and pounds of bud. And wait, they could grow up to 90,000 square feet of land. So just think about 90,000 square feet times 1,500. And that's just like pounds and pounds of bud. And remember, we they got too much weed. They don't got nowhere to put it. Nowhere to sell it. <laughs> Well, they got a place to sell it. I already know that's going straight yeah. to the black market. You go, let's just this is the obvious, but this is what happens. I'm gonna be honest, but this article is a great bring up of over regulation. Yeah, when you regulate something too much, this is what happens. You come to the point that you have all these people with licenses to grow, but then there's an odd number of people to sell. You have to give the people the licenses to grow and sell. Make no it an even. Make it a fair, mar open market. Make it an open market. Like if we get fifteen hundred growers, we should have fifteen hundred stores. It sounds crazy, but it's only crazy because we should have as many options as growers to complement. Like, look, there's this month, this product mm -hmm. coming. It's, it's the business is booming, and then you could tax. 1500 stores and 1500 growers yeah like and then the money just keeps trickling and trickling in but i'm just trying to see having too much weed paired with few too many retailers buying the product has caused the price from flour to fall drastically with with an ounce of legal marijuana selling for as low as 40 dollars in the state's retail stores an ounce for 40 dollars there's too much weed. that's <laughs> Bro, wait, just, yo, P, just read it like on some street shit. Like, wait, yeah, forty dollar. You know, I could make a killing with two hundred bucks. Word up. Like with two, wait, you know, niggas is death. We're going there with a with a couple bags of better. But if you had two hundred bucks, that's forty, eighty, one twenty, one sixty. That's five. That's a QP and one for you. <laughs> that's QP and one for you. But, um. 
Yeah, but the supply, the fractured chain of supply, the man has driven some farmers out of business. As Washington State looks to tackle the problems of having too much weed, Crystal Oliver, the Cannabis Farmer Council, tells Lance, uh, tell Inlander that one of her main concerns about larger farms are buying up grow licenses, rapidly expanding and chasing smaller farmers out and forcing them to keep up. That's another problem, too. Big bank takes little bank. Hey, man. That's what I'm... Sounds like to me the growing license is the license to have. Oh, of course. If the to it's one to grow, the skill to grow and the and to legally grow is like I said, because this is a billion dollar market. And the reason why this is good, like me, I'm all about ownership and control. And it's not to sound like I'm a fucking control freak or nothing, but it's like I see the value of owning something or control. Like if you created freaking sprint. That's yours. Mm -hmm. So for the rest of your life, unless you feel like you are an urge to sell, and even if with a sale, you could still hold on to 10%, still get kickbacks every year. Well, you could design the deal or contract however you want because it's yours. You made it. You own it. Somebody wants it. Declared its value there. But the point I'm trying to get across is that there is value in, say, knowing how to grow, having a grower's license, being able to sell legally because, like I said, this is a billion dollar there's not many billion dollar businesses outside of tech marijuana and some probably politics is, and porn but just think about like but just garbage think, garbage wait billion dollar businesses wait and that's talking on the return so we're looking at this and have it and all of these there's a cost of entry porn is a cost of entry marijuana is a license uh cdl is a license and um, I forgot the other one I just named, but I'm pretty sure there's a cost of entry to get into it. So it's like just knowing like these billion there's and then owning these licenses, there's a value in it. You could take that anywhere. Boom. I could do this anywhere. I could get my own truck and then it's the game. You feel? I could do this. And but then again, it just comes back to the whole ownership, because once you got this license, granted, I know it's probably only for New Jersey, but you could. Oh man, there's blood. Like, I I I only heard about this recently on another podcast. But the marijuana game is just as bad as the dope game. There was a a big massacre that took place a few few months back at a grow because of what I'm talking about now. It's like I I hate being correct, but I know when I'm right. 